Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for your continuous support. Today we're gonna to be doing the best of 2022 video. First of all, the fact that this is gonna be my last video, I, I believe, for the year is crazy. Um, I don't know where time is going, but clearly it has somewhere to be because we're about to be in 2023. So that is insane, but this year has been a whirlwind of a year, I can say nonetheless for me. Highs, lows, grateful for everything that I've honestly been through and experienced this year. I feel like I've experienced a lot of growth on this channel this year. There's just been a lot of milestones and I'm super duper grateful. And yeah, I just love this time of year because it's the holidays, it's my favorite time. You get to reflect, you get to just everything just perspective perspective plays a huge part in this time of year and i just love it we're going to be doing the best of 2022 video i'm only discussing products that have only slowly launched this year i'm not including anything that has launched from previous years this isn't like a, a favorites video it is a favorites video but i'm only sticking to products that have come out this year because i don't like to be super duper redundant but i will link all my previous best of favorites videos in the description box down below. I still stand on every product that I've mentioned in the years past. I still love all of those, but these are the new ones that have taken place in my home. We are covering skincare, we're doing makeup, we're doing body, we're doing it all. So this is gonna be a long video. Go ahead and get comfy. I'm not going to be long-winded because we have a lot to get through and people got places to be. I know you don't have time to sit here and listen to me talk forever in a day. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna first start off with skincare and then we'll move to body. And then I only have two fragrances and makeup will be last. So let's jump into it. But first, let me... The amount of talking I'm about to do, I need some water. Whew. Okay, so skincare, boom. I'm gonna be real with you. A lot of these products you've seen, but I'm mentioning them again because this is an accumulative favorites video from basically the entire year. So if you've never watched any of my favorites videos or things that I recommend throughout the year, this is a video for you because I'm talking about it, all of it together. Okay, so skin. We're going to start off with, um, let's start off with masks. So I have two masks that, amazing. I use them in rotation. I love them. One of them I don't believe came out this year, but it was new to me this year. And I liked it so much that I still want to mention it. First mask is the Fenty Skin Cookies and Cream Detox, Detox Face Mask. This face mask, it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see. Focus. It, the mask looks like this. So it's like this marshmallowy kind of like feel. And you rub it in and it turns gray the more that you rub it in. And it becomes like a clay mask. But it's super duper comfortable. I love this mask. It has salicylic acid in it, which is one of my favorite acids when it comes to reviving and rejuvenating skin and just like clearing your skin out. This mask is amazing. It is super comfortable. It a little goes a long way. You do not need a lot. It's fun putting it on your face, rubbing it in, seeing everything transform. Just the whole experience about this mask is amazing. When it first came out, I think it launched summertime. It was sold out everywhere. I'm sure it's available now. The Fenty Skin Cookies and Cream Face Mask is a must-have, and I feel like this is great for all skin types. Oily, dry, combination, all of it. If you want a nice detox mask that is comfortable, definitely check this out. The next mask I'm going to talk about is the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask. This mask looks like this. This is a beautiful, beautiful mask. I love it because it is a clay mask, but it's very comfortable on the skin. Like we are above those days of putting on cement in our face. A mask should not feel like it's soaking up all of our sins, okay? A mask should not be doing that. I just want you to soak up. I just want you to pull all the, you know, the gunk out, but don't pull my heart out. Like one of my favorite things about these, both of these masks is they're both detoxifying, clearing masks but they're comfortable on the skin. They dry down, but it doesn't feel like hard rock. It doesn't feel like super duper cracky or anything like that. This one is another great one. The Fenty skin is a bit more, it's, a, it's like a different experience trying to apply it, but this is more of like a standard clay mask. So if you prefer those, this is a great, great, great mask to check out. And it's super inexpensive. This is $15. 
The whole Innis brand is very affordable. You can find it at Sephora, but this clay mask is a must have. I love it so much and I use it every week. I, I mask two, two to, yeah, I mask two times a week. And usually most of the time it's gonna be this mask and the Fenty mask. So definitely recommend to check both of those products out. Next we're gonna talk about serums and essence. The first one is the is an essence, which honestly, I never understood the point of essence when it comes to skincare routines. I was just like, okay, for, for why? Like it's I felt like it was useless. And this made me change my view on essences. <laughs> this is the Ula Henriksen Barrier Booster Orange Ferment Essence. This launched this year, I believe in the springtime, as you can see. I am basically almost halfway through this bottle. A little goes a long way. I use this after I've washed my face, before I put any serum on, before I put any moisturizer on. It's a beautiful essence. It's like a watery, serum-y kind of consistency. And I think that's why I like it because I kind of use it as like a serum because it has vitamin C, it has um, niacinamide in it. It's really, really good for your skin. You can use it in the morning or at night. I just enjoy adding this into my skincare routine, especially when you've washed your face and you don't want to apply moisturizer immediately, but you don't want your face to dry out or feel really, really dry, put this on. It keeps your skin moisturized and it's just a nice, it's, it's a nice product. I like these kind of essences. I don't care for a watery essence because I'm like, I just feel like I'm putting water on my face. And if that's the case, I can just put water on my face. But this doesn't feel like that. I love Ulla Henriksen. You'll, you're going to see a lot of Ulla Henriksen here because they're one of my favorite skincare brands. Their products are amazing. They work, they do what they say they're gonna do, and I just like that. I, I love them a lot, so definitely check this essence out. It's really, really nice to incorporate in your skincare routine if you're just trying to elevate it a little bit more. Next, I'm gonna talk about two serums that I really, really love. They're both resurfacing, like exfoliating serums. The first one is going to be the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salicylic Serum. This launched this year, and I was so excited when this launched. This looks like this. As you can see, your girl is, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm like halfway through. It's, this has been used. This has been loved. This has been used. I believe this came out, I want to say summertime, right before summer. I can't remember, but this did come out this year. And uh, Glow Recipe has amazing products. Amazing products products. I love this serum. I love their guava vitamin C serum is amazing. I love the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Acid Plump Cream. That's bomb. I would recommend it, but I don't have it because I finished it, so I have to get another one. <laughs> uh, but Glow Recipe is another great skincare brand, but I absolutely love their formulas. They're really, really nice. Their serums do what they say they're going to do. This is a nice like rejuvenating serum. It's nighttime serum because it has acids in it so I like to use this on the days where I want my skin to be like a treatment so you could use this every day it's gentle enough to use every day I would recommend to use it like every other day so you can give your skin a break but this is an amazing salicylic acid serum salicylic acid and lactic acid and glycolic are my top three favorite type of acids to use on your face especially salicylic and lactic those are the best when it comes to rejuvenating cell rejuvenation like baby smooth plump glowy soft smooth skin look for products that have those kind of acids and they're gonna work um the next serum that i've fallen in love with that came out this year is actually from kinship i think you guys have saw have seen me mention this in like a haul love it i have fallen in love with it this is the kinship self smooth 10 percent glycolic resurfacing serum the product looks like this. It's really, really, really pretty. The packaging is gorgeous, but the formula is even better. It's a nice, glowy, thick serum, but it has that glycolic acid in it. And honey, if you need your face to like, if you need like an overnight fix, this is it. Like anytime you feel like your face is like dull or if you're feeling like any texture or it feels like, like it's gunky or like, you know, like you just need something to kind of like, clear it out this is a really good serum to use i use this before i do my moisturizer and then i'll usually when i'm using serums like this i will pair it with a more hydrating moisturizer because i don't want to dry out my skin too much because the acids in this are going to kind of dry out your skin because it's trying to clear everything out 
And then when you use a more hydrating moisturizer, it kind of helps balance it out. So you're not pulling too much out from your skin and irritating it. You have to find that balance when it comes to skincare. Too much exfoliation is not good for you. You have to be, you have to find a balance when it comes to exfoliating products and acids. I'm not a, you'll realize that I'm not a scrub girl. I'm a chemical exfoliation girl. I love acids in my toners, in my serums. That's how I like to do my exfoliation in my skincare. And it's honestly better for you. So these two are amazing serums that I would highly recommend for you guys to try out. The last serum that I'm going to talk about that came out this year is a beautiful serum. It's so glowy, so hydrating, so nourishing, slightly, it's like an oil, but not an oil. I don't even know. It's like everything. This is the Merit Beauty Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. You guys saw me talk about this when I purchased it in my um, Sephora haul. I've been loving this. I've only had it for a month and we're getting through it. Like we're, we're, we're making this, she's, she's doing her work. Okay. This serum is amazing, especially now that it's so, so, so cold. I love how hydrating and like moisturizing it is. And it has niacinamide, which is amazing for your skin, as well as hyaluronic acid. This is just an overall amazing, amazing serum. If you want that glow look to look to your skin, if you want your skin to feel like buttery, smooth, super duper juicy, hydrated, this is the serum to try out. I cannot say any more good things about it. You've seen me use this before. I've talked about it multiple times. Try this serum out. It's an amazing, amazing product and you get a ton in here. You get 1.7 ounces. For the price, I think this is way more than worth it. So definitely check this serum out. I have two more products to talk about for skincare and they're going to be moisturizers. And they're both from Ula Henriksen because you guys, I told you, Ula has been in their bag in the year 2022. All the products they've launched this year have been amazing. Like I've been using Ula Henriksen products probably for four years. Like it's, this isn't a skincare brand that's new to me that I, you know, I'm, one thing about me, I love their products and sometimes it may look like I use a lot of products from the same brands, but most of the time it's because I like their products. I don't ever recommend things to you guys that I do not like. If I'm telling you something is good, it's good, okay? Hopefully you trust me, but I'm telling you it's great. So the first um, moisturizer I'm going to talk about from Ula Henriksen that came out this year is the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This is the one that looks like this in the purple packaging. This moisturizer is so beautiful. I love this so much because it is the ultimate hydrating, rebuild your skin barrier, re fix everything moisturizer like this doesn't have any acids or anything like that this is strictly focusing on hydration collagen boosting like rebuilding your skin barrier like if you want if you're if you feel like you have very irritated skin if you have super duper dry skin even if you have oily skin just because you have oily skin does not mean you should moisturize <laughs> if there's anything to take away from this video is that just because you have oily skin does not mean you should not moisturize please moisturize your skin. This is a beautiful year-round moisturizer. You can use it in the morning, at night. It's like a cream, it's like a cream moisturizer. Um, the, the consistency of it is like, it's weird. It's a little thicker, but it's not heavy on the skin. When you, when you apply it and you blend it in, it melts in so, so nicely. I love pairing this. I love using this when I'm doing like my exfoliation days because I really want that intense hydration those collagen, the ceramides, I want all those peptides to rebuild and you know my skin while I'm trying to, you know, exfoliate if that makes sense, but if you're looking for a really nice moisturizer, this is amazing. This is for all skin types. My boyfriend loves this. This is one of the best moisturizers I've ever used. I love it so much. I will continuously repurchase this. This is my third third bottle this year. I've already gone through two because partially because my boyfriend uses mine and I'm about to get him his own because I'm tired of him using mine. <laughs> it's amazing. I highly recommend. Last moisturizer I'm going to talk about is this is a very actually really, really, really new moisturizer. Um, it came out, I want to say about two, three weeks ago, but I wanted to mention it in this video because it's, I've already fallen in love with it. 
it's amazing like it's you need to have it this is the ula henriksen dutopia five percent acid firming night cream this uh, moisturizer looks like this beautiful beautiful packaging i love ula henriksen's packaging because it's always very chic and standard this is a beautiful beautiful night cream do you see the consistency it is so gorgeous this is a night cream that you can use every night it's gentle enough to use every night but it does have uh, five percent acid in it so it's supposed to help with exfoliation with rejuvenating skin getting rid of dead skin cells you kind of get the vibes okay i love to moisturize my skin but i also love using products that help with cell rejuvenation cell rejuvenation is what's going to get that baby smooth skin this is a beautiful beautiful cream i love the texture of it especially this time of year because it's really really cold so it's super duper hydrating but it's also working its magic with the acid to make sure it firms your skin to make sure it gets rid of dead skin cells it helps rejuvenate your skin it helps revive your skin you just wake up with beautiful glowy skin you guys see me do my makeup all the time you guys see how my skin is of course i have a pretty i want to say extraneous skincare routine i have a lot of skincare products because i like skincare but i make sure to take care of my skin and one thing i can say about my skin i break out i have scarring i have all of that but the texture of my skin is always really soft and smooth and that's why my usually my face my base makeup always looks really really flawless first what you put in your body is the most important what you put in what you feed yourself is the most important thing next you got to take care of your skin use good skincare you find out what works for you and then honestly makeup is just going to be the icing on the cake everything is going to look beautiful on that base but these two moisturizers are beautiful this is a nice they're both really hydrating I would say this is a great duo to have if you're looking for like a nice hydrating all year round gentle moisturizer to check this out. If you're looking for a nice night cream that's going to kind of plump your skin up, just give you a little oomph, a little extra oomph, this is the, the um, moisturizer to use. So these two, bomb, amazing, 10 out of 10, recommend. Next, we're going to talk about body. I have... Um, just four things that I'm going to talk about as far as body goes. The first two are by the same brand. I believe, I cannot remember. I'm pretty sure this launched this year. I'm pretty sure this launched this year. This is the uh, Body by Taraji P. Henson line. <sighs> Such good products. I'm going to mention the Baby Buffed Exfoliating Body Polish with Lactic Acid. This is the vanilla and tuberose scent. You can pick these products up at Walmart. They're super duper inexpensive. This is like $10. It's 8.5 ounces. This is a beautiful, beautiful body scrub. It's It scrubs your body, leaves you feeling smooth. It has lactic acid to help with like clearing your body. If you have like, you know, body acne, things like that, stuff like this helps with that. And the scent, the scent, the vanilla tuberose scent, Oh, it smells so, so, so good. So if you're looking for a new body scrub, something that is affordable, because I know, you know, body scrubs can get really expensive, especially like if you go to Sephora, this is not expensive. This is 10 bucks. It's beautiful. You get the experience. The smell is amazing. It works well. It does what it needs to do. It's great for your body. I can't speak any more good things about it. It's black owned because it's the brand is by Taraji P. Henson. I haven't tried her hair products, but I've tried her body stuff. And so far, she has done nothing but impress me. So I highly recommend to check this out. Next product from her line is the Softer Than a Mother um, Silkening Body Butter in the same vanilla tube rose scent. This looks like this. You guys have seen me talk about this before. This is like one of those, as you can see, I am like done. I don't know if you guys can can tell, but she's done. But this has lasted me a long, long time. This was like ten bucks as well. Um, this is a, as you can see, it's like a shea butter kind of like feel. It's not like lotion. It's like um like shea butter. So when you put your hands in it, it's like a solid. And as you rub it in, it melts and turns into like this beautiful cream like oil kind of feel. Oh, so good on the skin smells amazing hydrate your skin you look super duper glowy super duper hydrated it lasts all day the scent lasts all day man these gotta have them if you are in walmart 
go to the body section and find these if you can get it grab it love these products so much they're super inexpensive they're black owned you can't say any more good things about it absolutely obsessed with these this year the next body product that i'm going to talk about that came out this year that is the bomb is the fenty skin shimmering body butter i already love the fenty skin butter drop like that's just a staple at this point i always have it in stock in my collection it's just a beautiful body butter it's so thick so creamy so hydrating leaves your skin looking so glistening and just like healthy i love it but this year miss robin decided to come out with a new scent and new packaging so this is like a it's like a tan nude kind of color it's really really pretty love it up my alley um same reusable packaging so you can keep this and just buy a new um a new one if you finish but this one is the cinnamony like cakey butter scent it smells so good and it has shimmer in it but the shimmer is really really subtle it's so pretty you can't notice it in the lotion like physically with your eyes you only notice it after you've put it on your body like in the light so it's not like glitter it's like shimmer specks of shimmer it's so pretty i love applying this especially when I, like it's cold right now <laughs> so it's not like i'm wearing stuff out with like my shoulders things like that but summertime oh girl this is about to be it, honey. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love it. Love it so much. Such a good product. If you already like the Fenty Skin Butter Drop and you like more sweeter, spicy scents to your lotion, check this out. Same beautiful formula. It's just a little bit elevated. I've fallen in love with this. It's great. The last body product I'm going to talk about is a body serum. This is from the brand Topicals, which is black owned, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the Topicals Slather Exfoliating Body Serum. Looks like this. You guys saw me pick this up in my Sephora haul. As you can see, your girl's almost done with this. Like, we're getting through this. <laughs> I'm using these products like crazy. I love this. I love this at night once I've gotten out the shower and I've exfoliated my body like the days that I'm doing my exfoliations I usually exfoliate like maybe two two times a week three times a week if I'm really feeling extra if I'm really feeling lazy that week at least once but the days that I exfoliate I love following up with this body serum before I put lotion on this is just a nice moisturizing serum it actually honestly sometimes when I'm lazy and I don't feel like putting lotion on I would just put this on because it's that moisturizing and it has exfoliating ingredients in it so it's going to help with your skin. It has retinol, lactic acid, it has squalene to help moisturize and hydrate your skin. It's a great, great product. If you're looking for something new to add to your skincare routine, like your body care routine, check out this Topicals Exfoliating Body Serum because she's a banger. She's great. I'm going to definitely be repurchasing this when I'm done with it. It's a great year-round product. If you, you, The same way you take care of your face, you need to take care of your body. You can't neglect your body. Your body is still skincare, okay? It's not just your face that matters. You got to take care from head to toe. So this is a great body serum to check out. All right, next. Um, so that's it for the body. I'm going to go ahead and talk about my two fragrances before we move on to makeup. So the two fragrances, I'm going to keep it simple. I have a lot of favorite fragrances. If you guys want me to do a separate video of like, my top 10 fragrances or just fragrances in general i can but i only i wanted to keep it simple i've talked about lots of fragrances in the year of 2022 i feel like this has been my year with fragrances i've tried a lot of new stuff fallen in love with a lot of new things i feel like my nose my my profile my scent profile has grown has expanded and i've just really fallen in love with fragrance and just have a deeper more understanding more respect Back for just the whole craft of it all um but i'm gonna keep it simple i have two fragrances that both launched this year that i love i mean love at first sight will repurchase once finished all of the above 10 out of 10. the first fragrance i'm going to talk about you guys have seen me mention it i've done a whole review on it i will link it up here if you want a more in-depth you know if you want a more in-depth video on the fragrance itself but i'm talking about the kayali vanilla royale this, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because if you watch my videos, you probably are tired of hearing me talk about this, but this is just a, a dream. It's one of the best fragrances I've smelled in my entire life. It is one of my favorite fragrances that I have in my collection 
and it's just divine. It's decadent. It's sweet. It's sexy. It's it's strong. It's like I just oh my god. Every time I smell this, I just instantly fall in love with it over and over again. It's a beautiful scent. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scents. If you love scents like me, I highly recommend for you to at least get your nose on this and smell it. The Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli is divine. It's one of the best fragrances I've smelled in my entire life, and I'm going to keep it at that because I've talked about this enough. So if you want a more in-depth video and review, I will link it up here. I did a whole video on it, so if you want more information on this fragrance, go ahead and check that video out. But this is a must-have and one of the best products that launched in the year of 2022 for me. The next fragrance I'm gonna talk about that launched this year is fairly new to me as well. Both of these are fairly new, but just because they're new does not mean I don't have an opinion on it because my opinion is set, okay? This is the fragrance by Stephanie Letta, Letta 22 Auris. This fragrance, oh my gosh, a girl's dream. Like a sophisticated, modern, chic, elegant, Fun, sexy girl's dream. Such a good fragrance. It is everything you want in a fragrance. Literally, everything you want in a fragrance. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's warm, it's floral, it's like long-lasting, it's unique, it's smooth, it's creamy, it's buttery. It's, it's everything. The packaging, the packaging alone is just stunning. Like, it's simple. It's, it's everything, okay? If I had to describe this fragrance in one word is everything like literally this is such a beautiful fragrance i'm so happy i picked it up it's one of my favorites it's a gorgeous signature scent it's a, such an adaptable unique scent but it works with literally everything it works everywhere it works for any occasion it works for any time of day i feel like it works for any kind of woman that's why i'm saying like if i had to describe this fragrance is literally everything it's everything in a bottle. So I highly recommend it to check this out. If you do not know Stephanie Letta, I will link her um, YouTube channel down below. It's SMLXO. She created her own fragrance brand and this was her first launch for the fragrance and I is in love. So I cannot wait to see what else she comes out with for her fragrance house because so far she started off on such a right foot. I cannot say any more good things about this fragrance. It's definitely a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful juice Whew. all right we are down to the last category which is makeup a lot of these things you have seen me talk about a lot of these things i have done separate reviews on most of these products so you probably none of these are going to be new to you if you're new here they are new to you but let me tell you these products have held a girl down this year absolutely love all of them so i'm gonna start off with we'll just start off with eyes let's go ahead and do some eyeshadow this year was an eyeshadow year for me like i feel like since the pandemic eyeshadow has been such a like not blah thing but just like i feel like people cared about eyeshadow anymore like we just it just was not a priority <laughs> makeup wasn't a priority trust me but definitely eyeshadow was just ain't nobody trying to do that but 2022 really made me fall in love with eyeshadow again and i used to be an eyeshadow girl i love me a good eyeshadow so this year the products that came out for eyeshadows really made me fall in love with eye makeup all over again and i just i cannot be more happier so i have four palettes i'm going to talk about two are from the same brand and i'll go ahead and just go over them super quickly you guys have seen me mention this and talk about this numerous times the new anastasia beverly hills palettes the um the rose metals and the i think this one's called navu this came out in the spring summertime i believe no this yeah this came out right before summer and this came out in the fall both of these palettes amazing they're repackaging their new packaging their new formulas i don't know if they, i would say they have a new formulas i would say they had new formulas because these eyeshadows perform so beautifully i feel like this these formulas these two newest eyeshadow palettes from Anastasia are one of their best, if not the best, eyeshadows they've launched as far as formula goes outside of the Jackie Ayana and Omri Z eyeshadow palettes. These are top tier, beautiful colors. The Novu one is like a more springtime, neutral, kind of like, you know, go with the flow, pretty kind of palette. And I love these shades because... There, they look kind of like boring on the pan, 
but on the eyes you guys they are stunning and i feel like they look beautiful on all skin tones i love this palette so much and then the next one is the rose metals palette which came out in the fall this is such a stunning palette honestly i love the shades the shades are warmer they're more smokier they're more like grungier i love 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 this oh i'm a shimmer lover i love a good shimmer and the shimmers in these palettes are stunning love 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 this so much both of these palettes have been used so much this year and one of my favorites palettes that i have in my collection and i just think that you guys should definitely check those out next palette that has really like was just this was a mind-blowing palette for me when i when i swatched this palette i was like yo what have i been missing where have i been this is the danessa myricks lightwork volume 3 palette this was my first time trying anything danessa myricks and i was not disappointed this palette looks like this i hope you guys can see the shades they the pan doesn't do it any justice. The pan does not do these shades any justice. If you want dual chrome, extraterrestrial, out of this world, your eyes just to look so stunning, this is the palette to have. It is such a good formula. Danessa Marks Beauty is black owned. Danessa has amazing products. Pigment is her thing. Pigment is her thing and her eyeshadows are not to be played with. This is a beautiful beautiful palette. I feel like it has enough color but also enough neutrals in it so it's a little pricey but I feel like it's worth it for what you get in the formula and the quality. I cannot say <laughs> anything else about this palette but you need it. Besides you need it. You need every everybody who loves eyeshadows needs to have this palette and that's just that on that. Last eyeshadow palette I'm going to talk about is one that is a staple in my day-to-day -day makeup. It's just a staple in my collection this is the Shayla by Dose of Colors Wifey Eyeshadow Palette. I did a whole review of the entire collection. I will link it somewhere above or down below if you want a more in-depth review on the palette and all everything else that came with it. But this eyeshadow palette is literally so good. You have all the mattes that you need. You have all the shimmers that you need. It is a neutral, everyday palette palette lover's dream if you love neutrals if you love shimmers if you love mattes and you just want it want a palette that's sleek that's simple that you can do a lot with honestly this is what you want every girl needs this you have black you have browns you have nudes you have beige you have bronzy tones you have it all this works on all skin tones it's a gorgeous palette. The formulas are amazing. The mattes are super duper pigmented, but they're really, really smooth. It's easy to blend out. The um, the shimmers are so blinding. I just cannot say any more good things about this palette. It's a must have. I take it with me everywhere I go when I travel and I use it a lot in my day to day makeup when I'm doing eyeshadow because it just has basic colors and sometimes all we want is basic. <laughs> so this is literally like everything that we ask for in a palette and it's amazing. I'm sure it's still in stock. If you guys had to get one thing from that collection, I would say pick up the eyeshadow palette because it's not going to disappoint you. It is not going to disappoint you at all. Next, we're going to jump into face products. All of these are going to be base products. <laughs> 2022 was a year of bases. When I tell you, the, the all these brands really came for our necks with the things that they launched as far as like base products goes. Ugh. They killed it this year. The first product I'm going to talk about is a bronzer that launched summertime. And I purchased it because this is a brand that kills it when it comes to complexion. And I really had high hopes and those hopes were met. All of the hopes were met. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream Bronzer. I have mine in the shade 04. The packaging is so pretty. It's this beautiful bronzy like neutral coppery kind of color and the formula of the bronzer itself is stunning it's super duper pigmented it's a bit more on like the matte side but it's super blendable and creamy it has this like weird that's not a weird it has this like sunscreeny scent but it's actually very pleasant it's just a really nice bronzer a little goes a long way i don't know if you guys can see but i put a dent in it this year i did i've had it for about half a year since it launched and i took this to kenya with me i was using it this is a really, really good bronzer to use, especially in the summertime, because it is more 
or it's more of like a reddish bronzer. I usually lean to more red-ish kind of tones in the summertime because I tan more orange. So this works beautifully for me in the summertime. All year round, it works gorgeous, but this is like my go-to summer bronzer. It's so good. <sighs> Love it. One of my favorite cream bronzer formulas. It's stunning. Definitely check it out. I want to talk about concealers. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm only going to talk about one concealer that launched this year that I just love love with all my heart sephora best skin ever concealers these concealers y'all need them y'all need these concealers if you have not tried this concealer right now why are you watching me have i not convinced you if i haven't what do i need to do because this this concealer is so good i have it on today I use it every, every, I use it all the time. I use it most of the times when I'm doing my makeup. 90% of the time, this concealer is somewhere on my face. It may not be all over, but it's somewhere on my face. Such a good formula, super duper full coverage, but it's very like a, it's a nice like consistency. It's not super duper thick. It's not super duper watery. It's, uh, I just love this concealer so much. Such a good concealer. It's a four collection. It's affordable. You get a ton of product in here. The color range is like crazy. There's so much to choose from. You need to try this concealer. If you have not, I'm, I'm done trying to convince y'all, okay? This concealer is it. I'm telling you, you need to try it. Products I'm going to talk about are foundations. I'll first start off with a product that's kind of a foundation, but kind of not really. This came out this year, and listen, she came and she did what she had to do. This product came with a purpose and that purpose was met <laughs> this is the elf halo glow liquid B glow booster this looks like this i have mine in the shade six tan deep this literally was promoted as a dupe for charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter they didn't even try to act like it wasn't like they just said hey we create a product that's supposed to be the same as this and let me tell you one thing it's actually better. <laughs> it's actually better. It's crazy. This product is amazing. It has a beautiful glow to the face. It has a nice coverage. It's it's you get more coverage than you do with the Charlotte Tilbury. It's more um it really like smooths your face out. I cannot say anything bad about this. It's so good. It's so affordable. It's elf. It's $10. You can get it in store. You can get it online. It's a great product. If you love the hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury this is better this is better and it's cheaper you cannot ask for anything else so if you always wanted this and you have this on like a wish list just get your hands on this and it's gonna do everything and more than the charlotte tilbury trust me i'm telling you you need this since we're on charlotte tilbury i'll go ahead and mention this next product this product is worth it i was talking about this the hollywood flawless filter and how this is better this, however, is worth the coins, and it's just a beautiful product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have mine in the shade 14N or 14 Neutral. I reviewed this when it first came out. It came out in January. I think it was one of the first newer products to launch for the year of 2022. I have an in-depth video on it, so if you want to watch it, I will link it down below or link it up here. But this foundation is gorgeous. It's like a medium buildable coverage it's very skin like it's not dewy it's not matte it's like a natural kind of skin it wears really really well it's super duper like it's comfortable on the skin like i have the other charlotte tilbury foundation the airbrush flawless foundation this is like thick she is full coverage she is thick she is not here to play but this is opposite like you still get coverage but it's more skin like it's more medium it's like a little dewy it's just a beautiful foundation and I tend to lean more to foundations like this. I'm not super duper into super full coverage, super thick, heavy foundations. I just don't like that anymore. I feel like it's just not my preference when it comes to foundations. I prefer things like this and this is a beautiful, beautiful product. If you guys have not tried it out, go to Sephora, see if they have your shade, check it out, get a little tester. But this is a gorgeous gorgeous product next foundation that i'm going to talk about that really 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 wowed me this year is one that is honestly my favorite not i want to say my favorite but it's one of my favorite foundations of my entire life okay this is the nars light reflecting foundation 
this foundation is so good it is so good i've been using this all year long it works on all seasons hot cold in between works on all skin types it wears so well on the skin i just love this foundation so much i did a whole review on it it has been my favorite all year long even when i tried new stuff i always found my way back to this because it's just a beautiful beautiful consistency i have pretty much all of nars foundations i have the natural the natural radiant longwear foundation i have the soft matte foundation which is more full coverage more thicker both of these i would say are more thicker this is like the thickest most full coverage one this one is not as thick but it still gives really good full coverage kind of vibes it's more of like a velvety kind of foundation this one it's more of the most natural i would say it's the most natural out of the three but it wears so well so 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 well <sighs> nars kills it with base products that's one thing i will say nars can never go wrong with is base products they are always giving us amazing base products especially foundations but this one if i had to choose like out of the three I love this one, but this one is like my more full coverage foundation. It'll have to be between these two. I used to be in love with this. I still am in love with this. It's a really, really good foundation. But honestly, with the way my, like I've evolved with like the kind of foundations that I'm now loving, this is this is my favorite out of all of them. Like this is second, this is first when it comes to NARS foundations. I still, still, still love this. I mix them too to get the best of both worlds. But if I had to pick one NARS foundation to purchase for the rest of my life, it's going to be this. It's amazing. I love it. You, Everyone needs to try this. Everyone needs to have this. It's the bomb. The next foundation I'm going to talk about is this one that is ah, it's so good. I actually have it on my face right now. This is the Patrick Ta um, Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. It looks like this. I have mine in the shade Tan 3. I love this so much. It's so practical. It's so, like, I love the packaging of it. You could take it anywhere. Easy to travel with. The foundation, it's like a cream foundation. It's a bit more, I want to say full coverage. It's medium, but you could definitely build it to full if you want to. It wears really, really well on the skin. The actual powder that comes with the foundation, bomb. I have it on my face. Like, I kept my makeup pretty simple today. I don't really have a lot going on. I don't have blush. I don't have bronzer, none of that. I just kept it with the foundation powder, a little bit of like, you know, face powder, and that was that. And usually I, I love this for my day-to-day, -day, everyday foundation or like my day-to-day -day face makeup that I'm not trying to do a lot. You could use this for glam makeup, don't get me wrong, but I love this for my day-to-day, -day, everyday makeup because it's easy. You have the foundation, you have the powder, it does what it needs to do. It wears super duper well, long lasting, beautiful, beautiful products. I feel like the cream foundation, because it's cream, it's not like super duper matte, but it's not super duper dewy. It's a nice like in between natural skin like finish, which I love. It's my favorite personally. Definitely check this out. I've noticed that complexion products that are created by um, brands that have an owner who's a makeup artist, they usually tend, tend to be amazing so patrick ta is a well-known known um makeup artist has worked a lot of people and he's just so talented and his brand overall is great i love a lot of patrick ta products and this one just is another one of my favorite and i highly recommend Whew, all right and the last product i'm going to talk about the last foundation that i'm going to talk about I'm sure you probably already guessed it narrowing down everything i've already mentioned this is the house labs triclone foundation miss gaga she said i'm gonna end the year out with a bang honey y'all thought i was done i was not she was not because this foundation i don't think we were ready for no one was prepared for this no one was ready for this formula no one was ready for this at all when i tell you literally packaging amazing formula amazing Everything about this foundation is gorgeous. If you love medium foundations, you're going to love this. The texture of it is skin-like. The formula is amazing. It's a gorgeous product. Honestly, I've talked about this a ton. I'm not going to keep talking about it even more. You guys get the gist. It's a, a beautiful, beautiful foundation. 
it's viral it went viral for a reason because it's amazing definitely check this product out if you have not before alrighty you guys that is it that is everything that I have absolutely fallen in love with recommend will repurchase must have for the year of 2022 I went over everything that has came out this year that I think is a 10 out of 10 product that has earned all this hype and I think is a staple to have in your collection for anything. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you love favorites or you just love these kind of videos so that I can keep doing them in the next upcoming year. Thank you, thank you guys so much for this year, for all the continuous support throughout the year, all the likes, the comments, the shares, everything every single one of you who have subscribed my channel has grown so much this year and i'm just so excited for the community that we're building i love interacting with you guys and you guys don't understand how much this channel and just me doing this means so much a lot to me and i can't do it without people supporting me and i cannot say how much the support is appreciated it is not gone unnoticed so excited for everything that has happened in the year of 2022 we've had ups we have downs we've had it all this year to be quite honest both personally and mentally it's just been it's been a year but it's been a year that i i'm happy about i feel like i've grown a lot this year i've learned a lot of lessons this year i cannot wait for 2023 to see what I have in store. I'm not a person anymore that makes resolutions. I kind of stopped doing that. I'm not really a New Year's resolution girl. I just kind of take it day by day because I mean, that's life. You take it day by day. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know what's going to be, you don't know what's going to be around the corner, you know? So the best you can do is the best that you have to give that day. So I, I'm excited for next year. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to see where this channel goes, the opportunities that come for me next year. I'm just open to all opportunities. I'm, I'm excited. I always love the new year because it just it's like a clean slate. And who doesn't love a clean slate? I just, I cannot wait for this upcoming year. I, I don't know when you guys will be watching this video, but happy holidays to you and your families. I hope all of you guys enjoyed Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, all of it, I hope you guys enjoyed it with your families. I hope you guys are safe, are feeling loved. I hope you guys enjoy this upcoming new year. Celebrate, have fun, live life because you only got one life to live. Um, yeah, I cannot wait for what next year has in store and I cannot wait to see where we go. So thank you, thank you guys once again for each and everyone who has subscribed to my channel, who continues to show me support. It is not overlooked. I appreciate every single one of you guys so much and and until next year or until next time. I'll see you in 2023. Bye.